seven bottles of spray paint. Oh my god, feathers just flying everywhere. It immediately looks like a sparkly dick. <laughs> I have been dying to do this costume. I've had it saved on my Pinterest board for a couple years now, and I feel like I've held back because one, I'm not Kendall Jenner, two, I don't have a white horse, and three, I'm not Kendall Jenner. But this is the year, and gonna be honest, I have nowhere to go in this costume. A few videos back, I talked about how celebrities go all the way the f out with their costumes and then just post an Instagram photo, and um, I take all that shit talking back that I did because that is going to be me this year. So this video is going to be my attempt at the Kendall Jenner Golden Fairy costume that she did for her birthday and Halloween party in 2019. This is hands down the most intricate costume that I'm going to attempt to DIY. Let's like start at the headpiece and work our way down. She's obviously got like a custom, it's hard to tell if these are twigs or like antlers, but like a custom headpiece. All my supplies I got on Amazon so I will have everything linked in the description. So the closest thing that I could find was this little headpiece here, which is like a rose gold, not an exact match. It is adjustable and opens up, which is nice. And then I have <laughs> these fake twigs, which obviously need a coat of gold spray paint, but this is gonna be my plan for the headpiece. I've got wings, again, hers are probably custom. They've got some gold glitter and a whole bunch of different panels. This is what we're working with. The best that I could do on Amazon. And then next is this dress. It's hard to tell if it's a one piece or a two. I think it's a one piece, but for the sake of my ability to DIY this, we're gonna make this a two piece, but an illusion to make it look like it's one piece. So the base of this, I'm gonna be using this corset and I'm not gonna spray paint this. It's already a pretty like neutral goldy tone, but I needed it to have like a back that you could lace up. So this little corset, we're gonna cover in feathers. And if you're going to attempt this, I highly recommend get like pre-spray painted gold feathers on Amazon because this is going to save me so much time and so much gold spray paint. I think this is gonna be a two day process. So day one, we're gonna start tackling the boussier. And then for the skirt, I was inspired by Amber Scholl who did this incredible Greek goddess costume um, that definitely has a lot of similarities to this Kendall Jenner fairy. And she made an amazing gold skirt using these like shoulder feathers. So I was able to get two of them that are gonna go all the way around the waist. So these will need spray paint. Kendall's skirt has all of these long feathers. So I was able to get these ones. I think these ones are about 18 inches. Again, need gold spray paint. Oh my god, feathers just flying everywhere. Her skirt has these little like sparkly sections to it. It's hard to tell exactly what it is, but I have these iron-on pieces that I can build. I think something maybe like this to make it look like it's like one piece. That's the plan. That's everything that I'm working with. I also have a shit ton of gold spray paint. I don't know how much it's gonna take, so I'm preparing for the worst. I've told Jeremy to move his car out of the driveway so that I don't miss it with a nice coat of gold. His loss, honestly. I think step one is gonna be to get all of our things to be gold. So Kendall Jenner doesn't have to do this, but that's okay. <laughs> We're celebrating the DIY spirit. I've never regretted having bangs more than in this moment. So I officially cannot feel the tip of my finger. The spray paint nozzle that has pierced my finger for the rest of eternity is a fun souvenir of this costume. So for the top, I found this gold trim that's already spray painted. Also, I wanna give you a heads up. I've already gone through four cans of spray paint and there are, there's definitely some missing areas that may have to be photoshopped later on uh, when the costume is finished. But these are gonna be so clutch because I've got the individual gold feathers so I'm gonna use to build out, especially like the centerpiece of the corset, but these ones I'm gonna use just as like panels, especially on the sides where you like can't really see what's going on. So I just wanna make sure there's like good coverage, but not spend forever gluing individual feathers on.
gonna have to around now. This is a big daddy glue stick for, honestly, just like, I thought like I could come up with something punny, but it's just, it's just a lot of feathers. is complete. It looks so good so far. Oh my god. Creating that little sunburst that had a bit of the felt backing was an absolute game changer. And again, I'm not Kendall Jenner, but I do have Amazon and a sprinkle of DIY skill and a hot glue gun that has burned me many, many times. Day one is complete. Day two, we're gonna do the skirt and the headpiece. And I ordered two more bottles of spray paint, which will make this total seven bottles of spray paint. Bitch, this is gonna look good. I have to go find a Photoshop person to put me on a white horse. That's a, that's tonight's task. Welcome back to day two. Today is the final day if all goes well. Here is the agenda, the, I almost said table of contents. Oh my God, and then the PTSD that immediately followed back to university after saying table of contents. Oh my God. Okay, skirt. I've got the cute little glittery portions. I also did a little test run that immediately flopped because these are pretty heavy and the amount of spray paint, which I added literally two more cans of gold spray paint to like maximize the coverage on the two skirt pieces. If you glue this down to a feather, it immediately looks like a sparkly dick. <laughs> because the feathers are so like floofy and this is just like straight down because it's so heavy. So the fix to this is I'm gonna just add two of them up here, uh, attach the waistband and knot on a feather so that it doesn't weigh our feathers down and give us a phallic vibe because that is not what we're going for. gone a tad bit overboard on spray painting some of these twigs. You know what? Maybe an opportunity to save for a Christmas DIY um, because I only need two of these. So I trimmed these down and her headpiece is very much like kind of in the shape of a V. So I'm going to glue these on. We'll see if hot glue holds it. If not, I might have a swap for super glue. I also just use an X-Acto knife to like cut down um, like halfway through and just scoop this out. So it's a little bit easier and gives us a spot to glue that's flat. Let's see how it goes. Shit. Oh my god. I feel like that was the last part of it. I am having photographer friend Jesse come over to take some proper photos because like what would this costume be and all of the blood, sweat, tears, and hot glue burns would this be if we didn't get proper photos? Oh my god, you guys. It is done. She is put together. Jesse and I are taking photos right now. It looks so so good. My butt is 100% hanging out, so it's not necessarily the most practical costume if I were to go out to the club this weekend, but let me show you the base of it too. <gasps> we definitely have a pup incoming. <laughs> Here is the waist, the corset, the skirt, the wings, the head. It looks so good. Wow, I am not mad whatsoever. This is definitely like leaving like the imprint of a gem just on my forehead, but it's Halloween, baby. We're not supposed to be comfortable on Halloween, but here's the end of it. I'm so excited. Yeah. Wow, that's so smart. <laughs>